uh, in this video we will be discussing about the working principle of a differential so this is one of the chassis and axles of a vehicle so we can see that there is engine uh, through a clutch it was assembled to the gearbox from gearbox through propeller shaft it is going to the differential and there are universal joints uh, in this but in the rear axle we can see this particular attachment which is called the differential now let's see how it works so this is the cross section of a differential and here this part is the part where the propeller is being connected to this differential and uh, here comes the ring gear a ring gear means this propeller after this propeller there will be a helical gear and that gear will be connected to this ring gear so inside this these gears this these are side gears this gear will be connected to this right hand side wheel and uh, this will be connected to the left hand side and these are the spider gears and what happens is initially the propeller will be rotating at that time this is the uh, ring gear the ring gear will be rotating so along with the ring gear every inside components will be rotating and if we are noticing it we can see that when it is moving in the straight line these are the side gears these side gears which are connected to the side wheels so they are rotating in the equal velocity that means when we are it is moving in the straight path both wheels will be rotating with the same velocity now what happens is here this spider gear spider gear this spider gear has a peculiarity it can rotate on its own axis look we can see here so this gear can rotate in its own axis so and also we can it, it is to be noted that when the spider gear is rotating these side gears are rotating in the opposite direction that means here look this gear is rotating in the upward direction when look from this direction this is rotating in the downward direction and this peculiarity is made use to give different velocities to the wheel. Uh, give, uh, wheel. When we are taking a curve, say we are taking a curve to the uh, right side. When we are taking a curve to the right side, this left hand side wheel should move uh, with a much more velocity than the right hand side. So RPM of left hand side should be more. So what happens is when we are uh, su suppose uh, the ring gear it is moving like this and uh, when we are taking a right hand side motion what happens is the spider gear will be rotating as shown here in this fashion that means the spider gear will make this left hand side uh, gear to move in the upward direction and the right hand side to move in the downward direction so when we are looking at the net velocity the ring gear is moving upward but this right hand side is moving downwards that means the net velocity rpm at this side will be lower but here look here this right hand side is moving upward along with the, this one so here the net velocity will be much higher so that the wheel at the left hand will experience more rpm when compared with the wheel at the right hand side this is how uh, differential is being used to control the speed and also we are able to provide different speed at the uh, these both wheels at the both side by using the different shape okay when, okay then when we taking a turn the main purpose is the outer wheel has to rotate more uh, more number of revolutions than the inner wheel that is one of the basic principle of this and there will be individual spindles which can rotate individual rpms so this is all about working of a differential thank you